Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 96 of my Ocean Walk Let's Play. Um, in today's episode, we're gonna try and uh, get that reactor going. We've got it built now. Um, we've got the fissile fuel. And now we need to get the fissile fuel into the reactor. We need to get um, waste disposal set up. And we also need um, a way to uh, store power for the reactor uh, that we can then pull from and power something really, really big. <laughs> so, um, yeah, like a power pot or something. Uh, uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and have a look. I finished up the setup um, for the fissile fuel. It, it was a pain, <laughs> but I had it basically, it was done. Had all the machines laid out. Uh, I just had to configure the sides to push or accept uh, the liquids. So it's all working now. We have uh, we have the uranium hexafluoride being made into fissile fuel, and it's just storing in a in a chemical tank. And these connect, by the way. I didn't have to put any pipes or anything on it. And uh, this guy in the front is getting all the fuel. This guy is empty, so it's going through him and into this one in the front, which is kind of cool to know. Um, yeah, that's pretty sweet. Um, oh, yeah, this was this was a challenge to set up, uh, but it's going, and, and we got it. I've been playing with this circuit, trying to figure out um, how to work that uh, but I think what we want to do today is to try to work on the power setup for this because um, we're gonna make uh, a lot of energy and I want to I want to be able to store it uh, and like shut this off it be able to shut this off if I need to and still have plenty of energy stored up. Yeah, so let's go, let's go take a look at some of those things and we can just come over here and uh, clear out our to-do list, I guess. All of this stuff. Wow, that was that was a lot of steps for that. Um, I still need to look into this, so I'm gonna leave that up. Uh, we got the one reactor glass on me. Um, <laughs> Alpha Twenty came out for Seven Days to Die, and I'm dying to play it. Um, and I wanted to record it, but. It's given me some issues. I I just figured since I've recorded in Seven Days to Die before using the exact same software um, that I'm using right now with the exact same settings <laughs> um, that it would just work and yeah it didn't so I, I created a whole new uh, folder for it and started a new thing and it still doesn't record. Uh, it's like my, my hotkeys are messed up even though they're the correct hotkeys. So it won't start the recording unless I actually push the button physically with the mouse instead of with the hotkey. So, that is strange. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna 
told me about that. Um, so let's have a look at the mechanism. Because um, I believe they have the, the cubes. Let's see. There's the cubes that you can use to store energy. Um, but there's also is it the cell? Yeah. The induction cell that um, will also store energy. But this is part of a multi-block structure. Uh, so it takes like um, an induction cell okay and it takes a uh, an induction provider and then some uh, some other blocks see where are those at it takes like these induction casings and an induction port oh wow okay good thing I already have it to know the energy tablet <laughs> so um, I don't know how many of these I'm going to need, so I'm just going to set it up to um, auto-craft them. So we'll get the induction casing first. Uh, am I not in here? <laughs> I've been delayed seven days to die, so I keep pushing uh, E to interact instead and it's opening up my inventory so if you see me open up my inventory uh, that's why okay so we got uh, induction casing which we already have this recipe so we can just do all nice and then we need the induction port which will be to um, I guess insert and extract the power so we're gonna need some of those yeah two so that's perfect um, we'll need an ultimate uh, I think the smallest you can make it has to have at least one of these um, so yeah but Oh, these take induction providers. Oh, that is an induction provider. And we already had the energy cubes, I think, all in there. So that, I think, yeah. So we need to teach it each step of the provider. So... Basic induction provider and already knows the energy cube and the other pieces. So we need to teach it. Oh, we don't need to teach it lithium dust because we're just getting it into the system with the. Um, good thing I did that. Uh, we're getting it from the, the evaporation towers. So that's pretty cool see that getting used um, okay there's the basic then we need uh, oh, advanced and then we need the elite Oh, it's in my inventory, that's why it's not showing up. And then we should be able to elite and 
advanced basic ultimate awesome so now we need to do that for the induction provider ooh, ooh, ooh. Advanced. And Elite. And Ultimate. Oh, <laughs> nice. Uh, ooh, we're getting kind of full here. So this is what these guys. I may have to make another Netherite Crafter guys here. And I'll put those guys there. And then we should be able to make whatever we need. Uh, we're gonna want at least one of the induction. Yes. Induction provider, induction cell. Did I miss a step? Basic induction cell. Oh, look at that. Um, I have the basic induction provider. Okay, I apparently... provider. Oh, they're both basic induction providers. Okay, so this one is messed up. I see. So we need a basic induction cell. Smeltery, or does it have to be? Oh, it can be in a redstone furnace. Okay. So, I'll just throw you in there. And then say to keep, yeah, 128 of steel would be fine. Uh, I think, I think that might be enough. Uh, we might need to tell it more than that. Because it's wanting quite a bit of steel. Short. That's too much. That's not enough. Oh, I need a steel. No, oh, I got a steel. Five hundred. 
Let's try that. All right, where were we? Um, let's see if we can do this. Induction. Yes. <laughs> So we should have those getting made. Oh, I forgot. I started something. Um, oh, it's finished. So that's good. Uh, I, I got the last five. I wanted to replace these. Uh, and then I could take this out and uh, get rid of this external storage on there. Because all of these are basically external storages with uh, storage space on them so that's pretty cool uh, I'll save that for later all right so how we do it still working on it um, so I wonder if we can go ahead and make our casings um, I don't know how many of those we're going to need. If I just make the, the smallest one, it'll be a three by four by three. So that's nine times four, which is 36, minus the two in the middle, which is 34. So can we make this 34 or is it going to make us 36 anyway? And then we need uh, one of those, but those make two. So we'll do that. I wonder what it's taking so long. Um, oh no. Did I get... Did I do the electrum? It's making tesseracts. It's making tesseracts, stones, making lots of stuff. I wonder why it's making these. Um, I do need some more, but. I only have like the half of that um, compact machine uh, filled up. Just trying to make, yeah, it's processing uh, uranium, it looks like. So. making the steel right now. Ah, there's the uranium. Don't this, it has speed upgrades. Uh, so we've got a, how can you tell? About eight of eight. Okay, so it's in there. It's in there. Okay, it's almost done with that. It is making the steel. Hmm. Okay, let's see what it what is it's it's just busy making so many things. pieces are for the ultimate induction cell probably. Oh, it's making lots of steel. Um, it looks like 
It's only getting it one at a time. I really wish I could put a stack upgrade on there and then it could pull in a whole stack. Uh, that would make that go a little bit faster because it's, it's taking it longer to load in each one than it is to smelt it. That's kind of annoying, but uh, <laughs> what are you going to do? Um, can, other than set up a whole furnace for just making steel and just have it pump in enriched iron, put a detector on it and tell it to only make this amount <laughs> and then shut off. Um, that's just, I just don't want to do that. I don't want to have five million furnaces when I can have one do everything that I want, but it's not doing what I want, so. All right. Um, it looks like we got a quest to turn in. Where is that? In Britannia? Oh yeah, um, I killed the Gaia Guardian 2.0 several times. Because uh, apparently um, I got better, <laughs> I guess. Uh, having the bow, the bow, uh, because that's, I don't use the, uh, the melee weapon at all in that fight uh, just shooting the bow so the bow made a huge difference getting uh, I ate apple one of the insanium apples that I got um, so I could kill two Gaia Guardian 2.0s on one apple um, so yeah that made a huge difference uh, night and day <laughs> um so yeah uh we did that we did the guy guardian 2.0 we got a mana weave rope top um and you know what look at this um my first drive in here isn't hardly even full <laughs> it's only got a hundred and ten thousand of 16 million used on the first disc so I think I'm just I'm just gonna throw it in here because uh, I got I got so much room it's insane <laughs> I have so much room and I've gone to such good lengths to make sure that uh, most of the things that I have a lot of are being stored externally um, instead of in here so having a little thing here and there one or two thrown in isn't going to put a dent in what I already have so that is pretty cool um, how's our little guy over here doing oh it's got to make 1224 infused alloys uh, Ouch. So I bet that's down here. Yeah. No. Where's the infused alloy being made? Oh, um. Yeah, it's in here. It was just making uh, the basic control circuit. Now it's making uh, the infused alloy, so <laughs> that's going to take it a while. Let's see if we can help that. Will that back it up? Wow, that does not seem to be going very fast at all. It's got eight speed upgrades. Like, um... On my 
uh, redstone furnace and stuff, man, it, it speeds it up a lot, but isn't there like a factory? Isn't it a fusion factory? There is a basic infusing factory, so I could bump that up to ultimate and get these done a lot quicker. Only, um, it's got all this redstone in it. So I think we'll, we'll make the factory that guy. Did I ever uh, put that in? Oh, no. Okay. I probably won't be able to make this because it's going to be using up all of my mechanism components to make what I already asked it to make. Okay, let's get this. I like the little control click thing for it. Uh, it's pretty cool. But we can at least get this step down. Uh, yeah, it's using up all the basic circuits. <laughs> so as soon as I make them, they're going to uh, get used. But these have to actually go through the infusing factory. <laughs> so uh, it's making a, a lot of the used alloys right now, so it's not going to make that. Oh, okay, so it looks like we're going to have to try and find something else to do while this is crafting. I have an enriching factory, but that's not the same thing. Okay, let's see if maybe... Um, We have it over here, already made up in this, the crusher. No, it doesn't look like that. Dang. No. Ultimate compressing factory, ultimate bin, sad face, sad face. Yeah, I don't think this mm -hmm. speeds it up. It just eats more power. Oh no, am I running out of redstone? So, um, I hadn't played in several days, uh, so when I logged back on, I couldn't open my backpack. <laughs> it's fixed now, but uh, I was pushing the hotkey that I remembered and nothing was happening. And I was like, 
I know, <laughs> I know I'm not losing my mind. That was a hotkey. So I checked and it was that hotkey. It just wasn't working. So I had to take my backpack, put it on my hot bar, open it up manually. And then when I put it back in my bag, the hotkey started working again. So I don't know what that was all about. Uh, so if you have any issues with your backpack hotkey not working, just open it on your hotbar and hopefully that will fix it. Okay. Oh, it's got so much stuff to do. Um, okay, maybe we should just let this be and do its thing, um, or I could cancel it all, make my infuser, uh, factory, and then start it up again. Uh, that could be a solution as well. So yeah, let's just cancel all, uh, make the factory here, upgrade it, uh oh, I'm missing the fused alloy. And I want this to have all of the slots so it gets done that much faster. Alright, and one more. Oh, sweet. Okay. And we should just be able to pick this guy up. Except we'll have to configure the sides. Oh, it's already coming in. Um, so we need to tell it to accept the tertiary input or the secondary input um, from what is it? The right side. Sure, that's this. Yeah. on inserting um, that is the right side it's pulling in through the top already not the right side, but the right side isn't working. Oh, 
Oh, I gotta take the upgrades out as well. Why is this not working? This is not working. Um, don't understand. It's side is set up to input the yellow from the right. Let's do this. This is going horribly wrong. <laughs> what is going on? Um, let's see. Uh, let's try to make it make some alloys. Uh, some of these guys. So craft 10 of those. Uh, so it should be sending the metal and the redstone over right now. Oh, it sent the iron over, but it doesn't send the redstone because uh, that's sent automatically. It was running out of redstone, though, wasn't it? Um, is there something cutting it off over here? It doesn't appear to be. got this guy importing everything this is the auto crafter that's the exporter exporting enriched redstone out of the system what about um, how is this getting made in the enrichment chamber um, I think my enrichment chamber for that is right here Yes, so this is where it makes it. It's not currently making anything. Um, and it's supposed to keep 16 enriched redstone in the system. So does not have any enriched redstone, so it should be making enriched redstone. Um, it send it over here. Okay, so it's processing. Ah, it's it now it's coming over here. Okay, so it wasn't going in because we didn't have any. <sighs> Good because <laughs> I didn't understand why that was not working. Why is it? It's out of power. Maybe I should get it um, some energy upgrades, if I can remember my hotkeys. Oh, <laughs> it's not going to... The system is going so slow, look at it.
normally I just get that spell. Okay, so we can put that stuff away. Um, we can put that in there too, and we'll just throw that in there. I'll do that later. Um. All right, so I guess I I am I'm at a loss. Nothing is wanting to work. Uh, oh, it possibly could have been out of the redstone because it's making so much uranium. So that's the thing. Maybe I needed to get to process the uranium on its own. Um, so that that system isn't tied up because then it ties up everything else over here. Hmm. Okay, well, <laughs> I wanted to get the induction cells. Oh, what is going on? I wanted to get the induction cells. That looks weird. That looks really weird. Um, there. <laughs> there. Okay. I was wanting to get the induction cells done, but this is taking a lot longer than I planned for. So I'm going to do this in between episodes and we'll finish it in the next episode. So um, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.